My name is Nathan Carroll. This is my sketchbook film about the film I've just created called Do Nothing. The general idea about Do Nothing is about the futility of, well, of doing anything and, in a sense, doing nothing as well. It's about two voices in a main character's head being at war to be in control of the main character. One voice is telling him to enjoy life, go out and do the things that he likes, and the other is telling him, why, why would you do that? It doesn't make you happy. It's all an illusion. You're dumb. For this film, I really wanted to use some of my personal experience, I guess would be the words. I wanted to take the ideas from my head in that I often have a voice telling me what, why am I doing this? What's the point? Is any of it worth it? And I wanted to try and translate that on screen. So a big part of this film is that I did make it all myself, which comes from audio, visual, editing, directing, writing, producing. I really wanted to do this so that I could focus in on what I was feeling and not get forced into changing my ideas. I really wanted this to be a translation of myself on the screen. It's obviously been difficult for me having to work on this all on my own because, well, I'm having to do everything. It's not difficult to explain why that's hard. A lot of effort went into the audio in the film. This included me recording sounds of my guitar. A lot of wild tracks. Foley. The sound of children screaming. You know, that's... Every good film needs that, right? In the edit, I tried to not make myself edit towards anything. More so, if I felt a scene needed to be left to breathe, I would. If I wanted a edit to a cut to be jarring, I would do it. I wasn't forcing myself into any sort of routine, which I often have in the past, and only really broke out of with the previous film I'd created. Snowflakes are... Out to bash. Barton's boys, they might offend vegans. The star tells of Savile Battle footballer Dara O'Brien is told of the chilling moment he met vile sex offender Jimmy Savile. Shocker. A lot of the main troubles came from the fact that it was just me working on it. Like through the ideas process, uh, through pre-production, production and post-production. I never really had anyone else to bounce ideas off. It was just me completely on my own, which is an interesting way to work, but also it was hardish. It was hard. I don't know if I'd do it again. I feel like I've got out what I wanted to, and if I just did it again, I'd be doing it for the sake of it.